Hey everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Hand of Fate 2. Here we are at the very end. The world encounter. This is the heart of the Empire. We must defeat him. All will be in vain. Should be the uh, the true final. Uh, and let's select our equipment here. Uh, Hretha's Ire is probably our best bet for two. <laughs> then again, the Peeler is also kind of... Yeah, we'll, we'll probably go with the Peeler. Um, I am curious if it'll let me select the Blood Crescent and what happens when it switches to that. So we're going to do that. Let's see. What do we want for a shield here? Uh, that one doesn't really make too much of a thing. I actually kind of wish you could just scroll through them with uh, the information up. 10 max life might not come into play. I mean, we're probably just gonna go with uh, the one we had there. Because a lot of the rest of these are just not gonna come into play against non-Northerners. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll probably stick with Coward's Bane. Thunair's Talons is kind of fun. Law and Order is actually also pretty nice. But yeah, we're probably going to stick with uh, Coward's Bane there. Uh, let's see, do we want Dead King's Scales? We might want Platinum Suit instead. Yeah, it's significantly more... Although, we are going to be dealing with all Brimstone enemies, right? So it's probably still better. Um... What do we want for a hat? How much does this have? Six defense? Probably gonna go with the Knight's Helm. I'm assuming that'll give us the, the bonus defense there. That one's not gonna come into play, neither is that. Uh, what about the King's Crown? No, that's, that's mostly a uh, a map-based one there. Yeah, so we'll we'll go with the Platinum Helm here. Or the Knight's Helm, rather. And uh, Lion's Heart kind of seems like an easy choice. A lot of the rest of these could come in handy, but I feel like just the ability to make mistakes kind of helps. So let's go with this and see what happens. I get the feeling the Blood Crescent might kind of screw me over when we get there, but we'll see. If it doesn't, if it actually doesn't um, have that effect because it's already considered equipped, that'll be interesting. We look like a little bit of an abomination with these scales on, but we will get to see all of our companions on the way up now. Since they all did survive. Okay, so it does just start with it equipped, so we are only at 50 HP. That could be a problem, but we'll see. Think I'd leave you on your own, did you? So it's Ariadne. Thought I'd come along and make sure you didn't get too big for your boots. Save her the world and all that. Thanks, Mal. Somebody needed to make sure you didn't mess this up. <laughs> All right, Estrella, let's settle down. You have done well. Let us finish it. Sounds good, buddy. Well, here we are at our final meeting. You expect me to play cards? No, I have devoted my life to battle, and battle it shall be. Okay, so we are going to have everyone with us here, which will be a, a significant boon. But again, we I'm only at 50 health due to having the Blood Crescent equipped, so we'll see how that plays out. Could be worth it, could not. Basically going to really have to make use of everyone's abilities whenever I can. I forget, can I carry a charge into the Kalos fight? I believe I can, right? Is what I figured out. Yeah, so I will immediately break his armor. Okay, 
Go. Challenge him. Oh, I'm challenging. Let him get the upper hand. Once again, the peeler proves to be absurdly powerful. Alright, so we got out of the two-handed phase here. Now it's northern time. So we're not going to have our automatic armor break here. But hopefully uh, we'll have enough stuff to balance out. I did get tagged there. Man. Oh, that's right, you can't equip rings here. So I don't have Callus's ring. Alright, there's the Blood Crescent. Extremely powerful attack. Bulbjorn's uh, rough shape there. Unfortunately, that did hit the armor. I don't know how much that damage that did to him there. Where is... Oh, Estrella's over there. I will have to keep an eye on my health for... Try to track too many things at once here is getting me a little bit of trouble. Is she gonna break his armor? I forget how that works exactly. All right, there we go. So I'll probably wanna do this early here. Where he can be deadly. Now we'll be fine. Huge damage. Such a great weapon. Just the, the risk on it is pretty rough. Uh-oh. Alright. Getting close to healing time here. There we go. There's another stun. Alright. Thief time. Oh, hello. That's right, I forgot there was a Wraith in this, too. You know what? We're gonna... preempt the uh, potential death there. I'm aware that our abilities are ready, but this Wraith kind of needs to be held under control. I want it to get start casting. Essentially, is what it comes down to. Oh man! Thought I was gonna get the block there, so I didn't use my ability right away. Oh, okay, the wraith is dead. Nice. We have our shield back. We have a lot of stuns. Ariadne's ability is ready. There we go. Did lose my shield there in the middle of that combo. Oh, this guy is done. Alright, we do still have two charges of Lionhearts left. If this is to be the final battle. Let them sing our praise when Oh, look out. <laughs> Got trapped in the corner there. I think I'm gonna wait for the stun, maybe? Oh, damn. Uh oh, look out. Take a seat. Ooh. You cannot simply take this power. You will be changed by it. You will change the world. 
it will take your form. I hope you understand what that means. The next era will be marked by those traits you have shown me throughout the game. Persistence, violence, cunning, imagination. I wonder what sort of world I will find when you are done. Huh. That's interesting. So we, once again, the, the hand changes, as it were, and we become the dealer. How curious. It's actually a really, really cool scene. Um, having all the companions kind of just be like, Oh, hey look, it's Anthony Placeholder massing him. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Did I not catch that last time? I feel like that's not supposed to be there. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a cool little scene. I was kind of hoping for an additional fight, but I do like the scene of all the companions surrounding him and being like, no, no, not this time, pal. Secret ending nickname online. <laughs> okay, some of these, I do appreciate that there are all of the, uh, all of the nicknames being shown here. Timesheet for finance. That's a good one. Once again, Anthony Scordy as the dealer. Fantastic job. I mean, all of the voice actors did a great job. But that in particular is stellar. But with that, that's going to wrap up the Hand of Fate series. Um, someone asked me, you know, am I going to go through all the achievements? A lot of the achievements aren't really things that would be good to show in a recording. I mean, it's it's a possibility that I would do it on a stream, but uh, I, I would say pretty unlike A lot of them are pretty... The few that I have left are pretty grindy, like getting 10 huge success on wheel gambits and things like that that just require you running a ton and ton of stuff. But I hope everyone has enjoyed the series. Blast to play. Highly recommend it. I will likely return for Endless Mode, when that comes out, I'll probably do at least uh, a couple of videos on Endless Mode. But until then, I'll let the creds play out again. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, click like. Share them around to your friends. Subscribe for more stuff like this, and I'll see you soon. And we're left with the empty chair.